doing. This is something that you won't see yeah. every day in LA. Rain. I know I get some of the rain. I know. It's barely raining right now, but it's misting. But it's been raining for like three fucking days. It's driving me crazy. And today's street sweeping, and I'm doing the whole thing again where I have to play chicken with the fucking street sweeper. And I wasn't gonna do it. I have a feeling they're not coming today because like I'm parked right in front of my building oh, and I just went through a spider web because I haven't fucking been in my car in like two weeks all right so I'm wearing like a ridiculous outfit today I have on my fancy holiday sweater this isn't necessarily a holiday sweater. It's just what I wear when I have to go somewhere fancy. And um, no shirt underneath. And then I'm wearing my um, camouflage short cutoffs. <laughs> Shoes with no socks because it's really slippy outside. And I don't want to slip wearing um, flipper floppers. A beanie. So this is straight up California winter weather like a douchebag. I have to go to the post office. You don't want to see me. Let's show you what rainy LA is. Go, oh, motherfucker! I should probably have my headlights on. You're supposed to drive with your headlights on when driving in the rain, allegedly. Oh, and everyone's slamming on the brakes now, so I will also do that. Okay, now it's not even raining anymore. There's Batman's house. I was gonna walk today too, that's what sucks. I wanted to walk to the post office. Chateau Blato. Wow, valet parking at IHOP. That is some fancy shit. Am I right? Woo! Hold it off. Hold it off, son. All right, it's good to be the king. Am I right? Now it's starting to actually come down again. No biggie. So I guess I'll just double park somewhere in here. Because I can't fit there because that guy parked like a fucking dick. Can I park there? Nope. Can I park there? Not really. Fuck it. Let's just do this real quick. So I'm totally blocking a bunch of people in being parked here like this. Because I am a creature of habit. I keep doing the same fucking thing. Everywhere I go. That's why I get so bored. If I'm honest, I'm still drunk from last night. I'm kind of hungover, like the hangover starting to come now. You know what's weird? I had a craving last night for dried fish, like fish jerky. I don't think I've ever had anything like that, maybe once a hundred years ago. But I just got the taste in my mouth and I was like, oh my God, I need that. Is it pajama day? Because I totally would have worn my pajama pants today. I would be way more comfortable in my pajama pants. I actually took my pajama pants off to put these on. So that's something that um, 
trip me out. I was listening to this guy, and he was saying one of the things, um, I can't remember what country he's from, but he couldn't believe how people in America eat while they're driving. Like, they'll go through a drive through and then try to shovel all the food in their mouth before they get to wherever it is they're going. Guilty. Guilty as charged. So that was fucking ridiculous. That took forever to get out of there. At the post office. So let's see what's in here. What do we got? Um, yeah, it was kind of shit. I'm not gonna lie. Lots of people. And I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but also, um, there's, the parking meters are gone around the corner where I normally park, and there's a sign that says, if you park here, you're gonna get towed. Oh, look at this motherfucker in a misfit shirt. Ew. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so if my car's not there, I'm gonna be pissed, because I was in the post office for a good half hour, 45 minutes there. And there's my bad boy. Okay, I think my eyes are deceiving me. <clears throat> but is there a giant shrimp in that bush? Like a giant uncooked shrimp in that bush? I think there's a shrimp cocktail in that bush.
Excuse me. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Thank you. Hey everybody, it is past midnight and I am in downtown LA and it's on a Sunday night, I'm drunk and I fell in a pool um, and I've been drinking more wine, waiting for my clothes to dry. And my clothes are dry now. And I am walking to the only burger place that's fucking open right now, which is like eight blocks away before I get my Uber to take me back home to Westlake. Because I am haven't eaten today. I didn't even realize it until I went out to sushi. And I don't really like sushi. And then all these motherfuckers are eating sushi, trying to figure out why I'm not eating any. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't like sushi. So that's what's going on. So that's why I'm here. Hello, how you doing? I don't. I'm actually going to get something to eat right now. What's that? I don't. Like this is just like wet clothes. I fell in a pool. I'm a dumbass. So I don't. I just have cards. Wait, do I have a couple bucks? No, I don't actually. Shit. I don't. I'm sorry. I wish I was more prepared to fucking help. <laughs> like, I seriously... Are we ever? No, dude. You know, like, I just... I'm walking because I haven't fucking eaten anything all day. And I'm like, yeah. oh, shit, I should fucking eat something. I hear there's something 24 hours down the street. Oh, yeah, the... Oh, no. 
So I thought I won my weekly game of chicken with the parking cop and the street sweeper and was just like doing my own thing, getting work done, recording a video, posting a video. I kept looking out the window and no one was moving their car and I'm like, yeah, they're not coming this week. And then fucking like a mass exodus, all these people came out of all the buildings on the street and started moving their car. So that meant that somebody down the road notified somebody that the street sweeper was in fact coming. And so even though like, it's like an hour and a half past the time where we should have moved our cars, everybody like gunned it outside and moved their car. So, um, so now I'm trying to, I was right in the middle of recording a video. So I guess I'm, uh, trying to find something to do now. I think I'm going to get a pack of cigarettes because the doctor prescribed me a bunch of anti-smoking aids. So we'll see how that works, but I haven't picked it up yet. I was going to wait until later this afternoon because I need to have a place to park my car in order to go do that because my doctor's office and pharmacy are right down the street. So I can just walk to it. So yeah, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. Um, I might be going to get a pack of cigarettes, like I said. Maybe go to Del Taco. I haven't been to Del Taco in a hot minute. And then maybe I'll go to that place home and get a fucking bacon Bloody Mary. That sounds good as fuck right now. I could definitely use that, but I've been spending so much money. Everything in this fucking town, dude. And I've said it before, dude. If you leave your house in LA, you will spend eighty to a hundred dollars, guaranteed, just to leave your house. I've heard other places, like kind of outside of LA proper. Like you could get away with like maybe 40 bucks a day. I really need to get my shit together. This is driving me crazy. I need to set up my uh, Shopify store today. Today is the day I need to fucking do that. I, when I left my house, I was in the middle of boiling a kettle to make a cup of coffee and I ran out, locked the door and then was like, wait a second. And then I ran back in and my fucking kettle was still on the stove and the fire going. I hate fucking being rushed out like that. It's awful. I don't know. So maybe this will be the last pack of cigarettes I ever buy. Probably not, but, you know, we'll see. Ugh, I gotta fucking pay bills. I gotta do all sorts of shit today. And I'm about to introduce the new um, YouTube membership tiers. So maybe I'll talk a little bit about that. Anarchy Crew is going to get the Anarchy Crew videos, and um, there will probably be like a members live stream every week, but um, I don't think I'm going to be doing the Zoom calls for Anarchy Crew anymore, um, just because it, scheduling it got weird and it was just kind of difficult. So the tiers I'm going to do now, um, there's going to be a tier where I help you build your career. Like I um, meet with you once a month, we set up a plan um, and do like um, writing prompts and shit like that. And I take kind of a more hands-on approach to um, critiquing your work and stuff like that. And then just kind of hold you accountable to the stuff you need to do in order to put your shit together. Everything from setting up a mailing list to a release schedule to putting your book together and all that other shit. And then there's going to be an, a higher tier where we do that every week. So you can either have the once a month thing 
or the once a week thing. Where am I? What street am I on? Oh fuck. Wasn't paying attention, guys. Now I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, um, I had two bacon Bloody Marys that were fucking delicious, as they always are. Because that place is fucking amazing. So fucking good. So I think I'm going to come here every week on Mondays, I guess, and drop 15 bucks. And Carla, if you're watching, you're amazing. Thank you for making such good drinks. And I hope your first day bartending at home was amazing. You deserve it. This motherfucker almost hit me because he's driving like a fucking dick. Kind of want to get out of my car and break his fucking face open. <sighs> but that would be violent. But I do have to stop spending money if this is getting fucking stupid. Oh my god, they have ramen now? Get the fuck out of here. Del Taco has ramen. No fucking way. Alright guys. Del Taco fries are fucking bomb. They don't taste very salty. And they taste like they've been sitting for a bit, so I don't like that. But typically what you should do... If ever you come across a Del Taco and you order fries, if you like crunchy fries or crispy fries, you need to order your fries well done. Just a little pro tip there. Because their fries are going to come very, like, flippy floppy unless you ask for them well done. These ones are okay. Oh, that's a much better fry. That first fry was just a little gross. So today I'm going to make my new chapbook. Since I haven't put one out in two months. Well, really just December. It's still January. So just a month. This neighborhood right here. There's this really good Peruvian restaurant right here. And then across the street, there's a really good Indian restaurant. And then across the street from there, the other way, is a really good taco place. So I am on the corner of Virgil, Temple, and South Lake, or Silver Lake Boulevard. It's like a three road intersection. There's all sorts of good food right here. Oh, Carla's lashes were amazing and her brows were great. I will go out tonight. But I haven't got a stitch to wear. This might say it's piercing with someone trying to show care. Jump, jump, 
can't burn, never knew his place. He said, return the rain. He knows so much about these things. He knows so much about these things. I will go up to It's a special number, even even uh, not to Chinese. Yeah. When you the building they have that number, they pay high price. For really? That number. Huh. Or one thousand. <clears throat> I wonder five, if that's five, why five. it's so expensive over there. Yeah. I'll ask. Well, I believe people uh, affording uh, so it's expensive. I don't know. Yeah, it's nuts. But honestly, even out here, like, it's not that much cheaper. You know? And like the kind of junkier apartments. Those expensive food, I don't buy anymore. It's uh, because it's too expensive. Yeah. I forget it. I'm not gonna buy it. You don't buy it, he's gonna be suffering. Mm -hmm. He's gonna put down. Maybe, maybe one cell for three, uh, for uh, before he passes, uh, because everything uh, three times higher than what it is. Yeah. In a quarter mile, turn right on South Union Avenue using the right lane. They put minimum wage 16 uh, at once. How you raise up $7 at once? Mm -hmm. How? That guy get seven dollar extra. Uh, the other people are gonna get their money too. So what happened? Collapse. Economy collapse. Have you been driving a long time tonight? I don't know. It depends on my, uh, how I'm gonna feel it. If I feel tired, mm -hmm. I go home. I don't stay. Yeah. I don't say one second because uh, that's how the accident happened. You tire and one second you uh, you don't pay attention or you don't notice, boom. Turn right on South Union Avenue. Where do you live at? Oh, my patio was, uh, uh, water was running so so I have to, I mean, from a rain, it's all the mess up. So I was fixing today. I had a tile and all tires, they are, it's a vinyl. Using yeah, the left lane, turn left so on they were up. Street. So, so I said, a couple of days already working on it. To take it out, the things it's not easy. It's wild. If I call somebody, maybe my grandma gonna get up and say, "Oh, my uh, my grandson is a millionaire. <laughs> that much money he's gonna spend." I came to United States in uh, 1981. Oh, wow. It was so good, cheap, so. So nice. I mean, the prices is affordable, everything. Until this COVID. After <clears throat> COVID, everything is messed up. Were you in LA the whole time? In yeah. a quarter mile, make a slight right turn on West 8th place using the right lane. Has it changed a lot since 81? 
Yes. What do you think is the biggest change? The biggest change? Yeah. Well, when I came, Saturday, they were begging uh, to go to work. Now you begging the work uh, to go work. Saturday, uh, Sunday, so you can manage things. Yeah. Make a In that right time, turn on West 8th place. everything was very cheap. Yeah. I mean, I smoke mm -hmm. one car, one carton of one one piece. Yeah. It's eleven seventy five. Yeah. Uh, in that time, I was uh, buying seven fifty whole carton. That's crazy. That's all taxes too. Yeah. That's wild. They said, "Oh, we raise up people, then they quit. Nobody quit." You just collect more money. Yeah. Try that with coffee and see how that works, man. People lose their damn mind. It'll it put my stress down. I don't care if it's unhealthy for me. Mm -hmm. It's uh, put my stress down. Yeah. Stress is the biggest uh, uh, thing in a human body that uh, make a person uh, more unsecure. Yeah. Do you think there's more people here now than there was when you first got here? Maybe. But uh, they do other things. They use a drug, they use a marijuana. This country built by immigrant come and cheap labor. Then uh, they, they start uh, uh, changing their life, learning English, then changing their life. Yeah. Then another come, another one. That way was everybody was happy. Everybody was happy. Now what happened? That uh, minimum dollar, sixteen dollar and up. Does he make you buying a lot of stuff? No. His rent is up. Food is up. Uh, uh, transportation is up. The rent in their apartment is up. So what is it? It's the same thing. They are not making more money. Yeah. Middle class, there is no middle class. There is no middle class at all. It's gone. I, I take a lot of people those uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even uh, after COVID. Where they get the money from? Uh, yeah. I almost want. No, I can't afford anything. I don't know. I don't know. Those young people, uh, uh, what they do? How they get the money? I don't know. I'm gonna try to uh, survive. That's what we do. Well, thank you for the ride, man. Okay, thank you. So I keep opening my door, my front door and finding strange things that I am not happy with. I'm going down to check the mail and I open the door and this is what I find. Nope. Not today. Not today. Just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.